recently, which you will have seen if you are following my channel, which was on the roll restrictor from Mountain that I installed on the Focus RS. I want to go over a couple of things. How does it feel in general? And one of the things that a lot of people tend to complain about, which is excess vibration. Is there a big difference to NVH, noise vibration harshness? I might as well just jump straight into the vibration thing. Well, noise vibration harshness, there isn't any noticeable difference in, so in noise at all, no sound difference. So that is just completely wiped out. The vibration thing, that's probably where a lot of people are gonna have the debate. So whenever we're talking about vibration, uh, we kinda need to think about different situations because it is different in different situations. So whenever you start the car up, cold start, if I'm being honest, whenever I first fired the car up and reversed it out of the garage after having installed it, I actually forgot about the full vibration debate. I am not, I'm not joking. There is such a small difference in the amount of vibration that you get. So I'll drop in right here a little vibration test from Cold Start just to show you how much vibration there is. All right, we're here doing the vibration test, or as I like to call it, the Jurassic Park test. I've got a glass of water sitting on top of the dash. It hasn't been on for a few days, so it is completely cold. So. This should be a good representation. So clutch in, fire up, turn the radio off. So this is cold start. You can see it's currently a little bit above 1000 RPM. Look at that. It has a very slight, it's kind of hard to see. Very slight jiggle, very, very slight. I mean, I don't feel any difference between this and, you know, before installing the roll restrictor. And you can see we're still over 1000 RPM, still doing the cold start sequence. So yeah, I mean, touching the, touching the steering wheel. I mean, you can feel that ever so slight jiggle, but it's a very, very little. Nothing through the butt, don't feel a thing. Okay, so now it's dipping down below the 1000 RPM, just coming to the end of the cold start sequence. If we look up here, we are getting a little bit of extra jiggle. Now, as you can see, the water isn't exactly, um, you know, sloshing about inside the cup. It's not as if it's like insane, but you can just see, get a little bit closer. You can just see it's moving a bit. So again, touching this, I do feel it. It's sort of like, um, how do I describe it? It's sort of like, it's almost like it's alive. It's like this, woo, 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 woo. but you know, it's it's so, so little, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really annoy me. And it's only really whenever it's below this 1000 RPM. So if I just squeeze the throttle ever so slightly, get it up again, that vibration is pretty much gone. And that's it just ever so slightly above 1000 RPM. It's, it's basically null. So what you might find, is when the revs are very low, so we're talking like a thousand or less, you're gonna feel a little bit of vibration, which isn't necessarily surprising. The bushing is stiffer, obviously that, po that polyurethane is, it's, that's the whole idea. So there, you feel a little bit of vibration there. Is it a lot? No, it isn't. You feel it if you're holding on tightly to the wheel. You might feel a little bit in your butt, but really, it's not that much. So, once you start driving, once you get it over that RPM, you feel absolutely no excess vibration whatsoever. One very particular situation where you may feel it a little bit more than normal is if you are perhaps stop the lights or something or have those RPM very low and then you put AC on. The air conditioning will introduce a bit of extra vibration, but that's it. And again, if you are using AC and you're driving and you have the RPM up, you're not gonna feel it. So for all those people, I, I've read a couple of times um, for both the RS and back whenever I had my ST and I did the same thing, the roll restrictor or rear motor mount or torque mount, whatever you wanna call it. Um, there were a couple of people who complained so, so hard. You know, they were saying, oh, I put, I put, 
I put the roll restrictor on and it absolutely destroyed the feeling of the car. The, the, there was so much vibration, I had to go back to stock. And I, I just don't get it. It's hard to understand where those people are coming from because the additional vibration is so, so little. And like I said, it's only in certain situations that you're going to feel it. So I don't know if those people are just exceptionally sensitive to vibration, but I have to wonder, well, firstly, if they're so sensitive to such things, then why are they even modding their car at all if they're worried about a little bit of vibration in the pursuit of performance? Because, we'll get onto this in a sec, the performance gain is really excellent. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking about doing this and you're on the fence, don't worry about vibration at all. So, moving on from just the vibration thing, how does it actually feel? It feels really good. If I, in fact, I, it, the way that I would describe it in just normal everyday driving like this, is it really smooths things out. So a lot of people will talk about how the, the gear shift feels really nice and, and smooth, and it's, it's true, it does. You're not getting so much flat, but the engine isn't doing that sort of jumpy thing whenever you change gear, especially if you are if you're giving it a lot of beans. It just feels real nice, and, it, and like I say, even at low speeds, it feels like it smooths things out, which is a really nice welcome thing. I was almost expecting it to only really be whenever you're going hard, um, where you're gonna feel the improvement, but I, I, like I say, I feel the improvement just in general. It's really, really nice. As far as giving it lots of beans, that's where you're gonna feel it even more. So where more are you gonna be giving it beans than in a hard launch control? So I'll drop that bit of footage in now. I'm obviously not in a position to do it exactly right now because I'm at a roundabout, as you'll see on this cam, and it's also kind of damp, so I need to wait for it to get a bit drier, and you'll really see whenever I do that just how good it is. All right, here we go, launch control test. Alright, here we go, launch control test. Oh yes. That is class. Gearing up is like just so, so flat now. Before, whenever I was doing a really hard launch or just giving it a load of beans like that, you, there was a very pronounced like jump of the engine. You could very much feel it. And of course that gives you a wheel hop. Um, but doing that right then, it was like just flat. It was like shift, shift, shift. Oh, that is such an improvement. So, so good. It's a roll restrictor for the win. If you watched the video that I did, you'll remember that I put that little, um, that small amount of copper grease on the bushings. I have to say, whenever I start it up, anytime, I have absolutely zero squeak from where the polyurethane is touching metal. So that was a great little tip and it really, really does work. So yeah, I think it's a great mod. If you're on the fence, just do it. You will absolutely love it if you are in the pursuit of performance. And yeah, there's nothing not to like. It's not that expensive. It's not that difficult. Get it done and you will love it. So that's just a little chat for today. I hope you like this video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more content to come very, very soon. Thank you once again and goodbye.